Expose. Hi everyone, as you can see, I have two gorgeous ladies here next to me. And you might recognize them because with me I have Cheryl. Hello. And Geraldine. Hello. Then they were the new paper new face girls. So we have very hot girls here today. And we always need hot girls where it comes to talking about guys. Huh, but there's already oh, one hot girl here. But this one cannot thought I buy it. So <laughs> Okay, I wanna ask you girls now, do you think Singaporean men are dateable? Honestly, not really. There's a handful, but the rest are not very dateable. I think Singaporean guys are they are dateable, but not very highly dateable. Reason is because uh, most of them know nuts about women. I don't want to date a guy who goes like oh, uh, up to you, anything lah. Do you think Singaporean men are good at picking up girls? No, no. I never have been picked up before. People think that I'm either too tall, too alien, or something the first impression always goes wrong somehow or other. What would you like to see in men when they approach you, if they start approaching you? Able to actually hold a conversation first before like, you know, concluding that, hey, you look good, I want to date you, before even getting to know me. I'd rather you be real. If you are not, just be a nerd. What kind of guys do you look out for then? Like, or what do you look out for in a guy? Okay, if it's first impression basis, it'll be have to be good looking and dressing. You can wear berms, t-shirts, slippers, as long as you carry yourself well. I like the bad boy look. Basically, I like the bad um, boy look. I've dated enough bad boys to know that bad boys are not people that I'm going for. Agree. <laughs> I like boyish looks, boyish bad boys. Yeah. Boyish bad boys. I don't like another thing. Oh, one thing, not too macho. There's no thing in particular that you think a guy could use to impress you at all. On a first impression basis, it's you know how to use your eyes for me. Your eyes. No, it's not about that. It's eye contact. Yeah, it's eye contact that matters. You know, I can don't talk to you, but you can stay in my mind whole night just with eye contact. So if you had to give a tip to guys on how to approach you, what Honest, honest simple, don't yes. bit around the no, bush, don't no be too pushy. Sorry, language, it doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah. Sorry, we are very realistic. Yeah, they are very realistic and you can see they are very animated. Now, both of you are going to meet uh, two guys later. Okay, um, they are both local. Okay, and uh, what are you expecting from this guy? Nothing, I've learned not to expect. Yeah. We rather yeah. not expect. You know, if you don't have expectations, you want to be disappointed. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, we will see whether or not these guys live up to your expectations. They seem very high. Yeah. Uh, really, really, yeah. <laughs> a bit, a bit. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Because I'm not that tall. Why? Can no, it's like lie on their shoulder, like very no, nice. The thing is that uh, if a person is too tall, cannot lie already. So one hit Hello, will be just I right. Never had a guy can lie on the shoulder because she's tall I'm not I have one statement to end it off the bit is an excellent equaliser of height uh-huh. <laughs> okay we're gonna meet the guys and uh, later you you will be telling me you know about what you guys thought and everything else so jing 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 <laughs> excited excited I'm not stone <laughs> because I have no expectations this view like it feels more like a slumber party. <laughs> it, feels like, uh, it feels like a blind date. Well, since the SG dating coach boys were attached and couldn't demonstrate, we searched high and low, every nook and cranny, to find guys who practice the mystery method. And we found Josh and Lewis. So, today we're going to meet two guys who are going to meet the two girls. And, uh, well, we know what they are. But uh, the girls don't. So let's meet the guys. For the guys who want to go up to girls without any strings attached, like like not plans and stuff like that. They've got to mind their body language because it plays a big factor in approaching a girl. You need to have a very positive body language. What's a positive body language? You need to be confident and you cannot stutter when you speak. And it can't be pulled off as a lame, you know, what's it, can, I, can I ask a... Uh, you can't do that. Josh, any tips for any guys and uh, besides dressing like twins? <laughs> <laughs> My God, we were separated at birth. Didn't you know that? No. 
these girls are girls who are from, you know, new paper, new face. So they are used to being told they're beautiful and, you know, they are beautiful girls. Uh, any tips for guys who want to approach beautiful girls? Maintain a very solid eye contact, looking into her eyes and, you know, just talking to her like a normal human being. Personally, I don't want to date a good-looking girl just because she's good-looking. I want to date a girl because she has character. Do you think that these girls will be able to respond well to you or not? If you engage a person as a natural human being with uh, utmost respect, then I believe that the person will actually feel your sincerity in the conversation itself and respond to you naturally. Later on, we will see you talking and interacting with the girls. Uh, and after that, we will see what happens, okay? I'll just, I'll just draw a smiley face, okay? Then, then we won't get into any trouble. <laughs> cool. Okay, now um, both Josh and Louis just went in and they are speaking to Cheryl and Geraldine. And uh, I don't know how they're going to react because they're not usually used to this kind of like a talking to girls in the day. And both of them are really hot girls. Uh, the guys are usually really successful outside at night, um, but we'll see how they fare. I don't know. So far, they're like. <laughs> I think the guys are very thirsty. <laughs> they keep on drinking a lot, so I think they're a bit nervous. Louis is keeping very quiet, and Josh is talking quite a bit. So I don't know whether it's. Uh, uh, tactic then. Let us see. It's very irritating now. It's very irritating now. Women's prerogative. So it's That's direct. a woman's prerogative. So it's in the woman's shot, I guess. Of course. Oh, let me get up. Which page is it on again? <laughs> it's never in things like that. No, no, you gotta show, you gotta show me. Which page is it on? It's never. I can't, I can't help but notice. Basically, we took them on a process whereby, uh, for example, you talk to a person and. She doesn't really respond to you. There's something wrong with the conversation itself, or there's something wrong with the attention span, and you've got to do something about it. So basically, that's what we did. We engaged and kept the ball rolling. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I certainly did because uh, I think we both did quite a, a good job. I'd say it's, a, it's worth a pat on the shoulder. Sometimes when you talk to girls, they are very engaging. But right now, they are engaging. But They've got this. They've got this shield around them when they're engaging you. So, so when this happens, we do what? What happens? Mm -hmm. They're definitely a hot nut to crack at first. Mm -hmm. But like a banana, when you peel them, you actually see that it's got a soft personality, mm -hmm. which tastes sweet in the inside. So they've got sweet personality as well, despite okay. the. Uh, 
experience. Half look, you know? So, I mean, both of them are obviously very pretty girls, you know, they're both in the media. So they get a lot of attention and they're very used to getting the attention in the first place. Mm. So does this make this harder for any guy to actually speak Talk to them? them? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, on a personal level, I'm very impressed with the fact that, you know, I found a lot to believe in. Charlie, mm-hmm. especially, she's very firm on what she believes in and mm-hmm. she has passion for life. I think, I thought that that made her very attractive. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, she kept cutting me off throughout the whole conversation. Uh-huh. Like when I'm talking halfway through, and she goes cut, 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 all the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, did, y'all, uh, did you guys run any conventional stuff with them? Uh, bring me through from when you entered, for example, where you guys chose to sit. I noticed that you guys switched places a couple of times. Was this part of uh, trying to do something? I mean, was it technical? No, actually, I sat there because I couldn't see the way that he was talking. Okay. And I like to give eye contact. Okay, with the girls. So with everyone in the room. Okay, so basically changing was really so you could get eye contact. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay, now, what do you think... Um, you know, uh, these girls felt while they, you were talking to them. Do you think uh, they were comfortable? Do you think, you know, that they are people that you probably would talk to if you did see them outside? Sure, why not? Yeah, because, uh, I mean, we're very sociable persons, people, and uh, and they are very sociable people as well. And I believe that if we meet them outside, yeah, we're going to have a very engaging conversation like, like just now. It was certainly okay, but uh, the course a little bit of a attention issue. That's all. I don't see any harm in making friends or developing friendship with people. Oh. Whether I'll talk to them or not, whether I'll pick them up or not. Depends on the interaction, huh? Depends on the interaction, huh? Depends on the interaction. Yeah. So, what, what would you think after this interaction? Would you? Not yet. Not Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see what the girls have to say. You had some time talking to these guys. Uh, what do you think about? What, what are your first impressions, Geraldine? Two guys wearing the same shirt. It's all the gay vibes coming out and all that. You know, that was then, turned on the moment it's Yeah. Happened. Then it's it then especially one guy. You know, he has his eyelash curl yeah. up thing. Oh my god. <laughs> We are more sensitive to looking at the outlook and all. Okay, by the way, do you know what the names are? Can you remember the names? Josh and Lewis. I can't. Okay. Which one is Josh? Which one is Lewis? <laughs> um, Josh is the one with the fake falsies thingy and Lewis is the one with the cat. If I'm not interested in even talking to you, Just I won't want to know your name. Well, you guys seem to be having quite a long conversation, a long and deep conversation about music and Ooh, the thing is the truth hobby. The time I'm talking to her. And yeah, she's we're, talking just, to me. we're just having our own conversation in our own little world. And in our own, they are practically just listening. I'm sad I you know, initially they already asked, you know, what is one thing you're looking for? I already stressed it. Be real, be real, be real. And they're still trying so hard, trying to like, get into our conversation. They were like trying to come up with more and more new topics. And they just never end it properly. You know, I actually have the strict rule of only dating Singapore guys. But then this too, uh, good rule. Out it's of, a very good rule. This is out of this my is league. Out of me. It's not out of my league. It's not out of our league. They like, are out of our league. No, it's Do they have any saving graces? That's what I want to ask. Any positives? Um, Come on. If I were to meet them, not in this interview, probably the conversation would end in within two minutes. Okay, how would it go? Hi, my name is Lewis, and you would say? Oh, oh hi, my name is Cheryl. Okay, but. And you have to go to the restroom now. <laughs> Lewis has an accent which is already a turn off. It's a turn off, it's a big turn off. Because, because we are, okay, firstly, we are not Caucasians. We don't need you to pretend to have an accent and to impress second. us. Just now I keep stressing being real, being real, being real. Well, what if this is real accent and he grew up like in Australia or in um, sorry, or UK or. Dude, he switched his accent so fast. First he was in this very thick kind of accent. The next thing his last were coming out. Then the next thing he was trying to get back his accent but it wasn't as thick as yeah, it used to be. It, if it's and not it was like so chapalang. He has to adapt to the situation. This, that's his problem. You see, we are talking like this. Then he okay, here. Okay. Another thing that I totally pissed off about is they expected us to introduce ourselves. ourselves. Hello. Get the facts right. You are here to get to know us, not us getting to know you. That's a big no-no, you know. Compare a girl with another girl. They compare the both yeah. of us, which is wrong. You, yeah, you can't. We were, mer- mi- we, we, we were mirroring, mirroring each, other. each other. Because we crossed our legs the same way. Whatever I was doing, she was doing. Whatever she was doing, I was doing. And we always look at each other. <gasps> Hello, best friends or good friends. We, we, we would we look, sure look at each, each other. other. We then we fly. We know them. 
you guys have no saving graces whatsoever. No. no. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Sad to say, no. I think, actually, I think there are better Singaporean men out there. Even though the people we have dated are not very nice, but I think they are way better than these two. Mm. In terms of looks, rate them 1 over 10 for each guy. Head guy, Louis. <laughs> Three. Okay, wow, okay. And Jolene? Give me a three over three. Personality for Lewis, head guy. Personality lower than three. I'm gonna give him a zero for not being real. <laughs> you girls are harsh, man. No wonder all the guys in Singapore are single. Okay, for looks, Joshua. Oh my okay, Maybe better than Lewis, dude. Four. He cannot be passable. Yeah. They cannot be passable. I'm so sorry, dude. I'll give him you a can... tree, la. I'll give him a tree still. Are you serious? Only giving them the same. A person that, that is not real, rude, don't know music, definitely, no matter what first impression of. Do you believe they don't know any classic rock at all? By the way, uh, by the way, off camera, Geraldine sat down with me and she said, Hey, whoa, your complexion is getting very bad uh, and your eyebrow better shaved than you got uni brow. Can you see? It's growing in. And then now I pass. But you're better looking than that. We don't mind two girls against one guy, man. Okay. I actually also, I also don't mind two girls uh, and one guy. Overall, uh, first impression for each one of them, one over one uh, to ten, Joshua and Louis. I don't even remember their name. Uh, how about some, like, uh, um... Tips for guys out there. Don't try too hard. Always be real. Don't fake an accent. Come on, be proud that you're a Singaporean. And know at least three classic rock songs for Geraldine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and for Cheryl? Yeah, just hold a proper conversation without using your slangs. Don't try too hard to try and get into the girls' bubbles because we always live in them. Okay, so maybe this time wasn't too successful. But then again, admittedly, the two girls were really Really tough nuts to crack. Expose. <laughs>